Good morning, America. Well, actually, world. Good morning, world. Welcome to a day in my life. The premise of today's video is to get vengeance on the fish that have given me so much grief in Colorado. I can't hear me with this jet engine. I've been here for three weeks, and I've probably been fishing for the last four, three days. First day, didn't go so hot. Second day, kind of let them up a little bit. Cut my first rainbow trout which was cool um kind of my second rainbow trout which was, which was cool which i have in my fridge right now but it's not big enough for a meal so today we're going to be doing a catch and cook um i'm going to catch a trout if it's the last thing that i do today <laughs> area that i'm fishing there's some cutthroat so i can't keep cutthroat but i can keep a brown or a rainbow colorado rocky mountains we're gonna find a river and we're gonna start fishing Wow, beautiful. I don't know if that'll ever get old. for breakfast. You guessed it right. This one's pretty recent. water's moving super slow here see this like riffly stuff right here super shallow and then it kind of drops off right in that area fish sit under that because there's bugs that like hatch and stuff in the shallow rock and they get pushed down it's kind of like a feeding conveyor belt so if there's fish down there they're more likely to be active You might cast all day to just find there's no fish on your end of the line. I should have stayed with the car, I think. All right, so this spot looks pretty awesome. Some cover there, some cover down here. It's gorgeous. I've been walking for like five miles now. So I'm Getting a little jelloey. Fish. Sick. Oh god. This is a mess. Yeah. I got you. We are going to keep him. That is why I'm handling him so poorly. He ate the little fly. Sick, first fish of the day. Right here. Nice rainbow trout. Nice. So when I caught that fish, I was just kind of hanging my line out like this. And he came out from this hole and grabbed it. You're coming with me. There, I got one. That is not what I was going after though. That's a freaking sucker fish, dude. Oh! Another sucker. This one's a little bigger, but 
Well, popped off. That's okay. I don't think I want to keep those anyway. Three bites, one trout. Another one of these white sucker fish things. He's got like a kind of a suckery mouth. I don't know. Well, I must have the right thing on now. I'm catching most of the fish on that nymph, which is kind of weird. God is a. Yeah. What are you? One of those white fish again? Oh my god, this one's huge. Oi. All right, thanks for coming. I got a feeling that there's not very many trout in this river. <laughs> I walked a lot more river than I thought I did. So I'm gonna walk back to the truck. It's like a, it's a five mile hike by road. So, see you in an hour, I guess, or something like that. Maybe somebody will pick me up and I'll get lucky. These legs ain't meant for hitching. They meant for walking. And that's just what they'll do. It's like 2 p.m. right now. I left here at 7 this morning, so I've been walking for a while. Curry. Some leftover curry and not. Well, not leftover, not. I bought this. This is a good lunch. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, it's time to cook. I'm in this town called Redstone. They have these giant redstone ovens and I'm not really sure what the ovens were used for. So we're gonna go check that out first and then we're gonna get cooking on our fish. Redstone Coke ovens. ovens basically Are these sunglasses throwing you guys off do I look like myself I feel like myself all right let's get it I haven't tried this yet so that might be cool it's gonna be good mmm Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna score our trout, dash them with a little Everglades, maybe toss in a little garlic for good measure, and then throw some ghee in a pan. So scoring fish is a good idea when you wanna get the flavors of whatever you're cooking with into the meat. I am gonna cook these fish whole just so I don't get any waste. I don't really like filleting trout. The bones that they have in them aren't like atrocious and uh, it's more of a pain in the butt than anything. Plus you get more meat, of course. And rainbow trout have really small scales, so I didn't really have to worry about scaling them. I got most of the blood out. It is kind of difficult to get some towards the back and then toward the front, um, but ensuring that you get all of that out will make sure that you don't uh, have a super fishy flavored uh, outcome. <laughs> I mean, it is a fish after all, so it is going to taste like fish, but if you have blood in it, it's going to taste a lot worse. I'm just going to press these cloves of garlic. 
Probably just gonna toss these in with the fish rather than like stuffing the fish full of it because I think that'd be just too much. Hit him with some lemon juice. Uh, let's see what's in this Everglades seasoning. So we got salt, spices, monosodium glucamite, so MSG, dehydrated garlic, onion, sugar, and papatan. Sounds, sounds good, I guess. Doesn't really tell me what it is, but we'll go for it. It's bigger trout, I'm just gonna stuff the lemons in there because I didn't lemon juice it. I don't, I'm gonna go light with this stuff. So I'm gonna boil a smidgen of water so I can make some risotto. A little bit of heat. Got some green onions on there, some sriracha, some risotto. It's pretty good. There's some cilantro stuffed in there, lemon. Red chili powder. It's different than red chili flakes because it's freaking spicy. He's off now. And it's really weird to me how white the meat is. Usually when I catch a rainbow trout, they have like big fish or orange fish meat. Or these ones are white. And very tasty. Nice white flaky meat. That's really good. That's like the perfect combo too, these green onions. Sriracha complements it well. I just didn't want to be another YouTuber that was like pumping Everglades. I'm sure it's fine, but I have more fun messing with stuff. Ow! Thank you to whoever sent it to me. Ow. Yeah, you can see these are rainbow trout bones, so they don't really amount to much. That's a tasty little morsel. Lord, that was good. That was very good. All right, so I'm driving about a... Immaculate timing. Right, so I'm driving about an hour back into town uh, because I'm running low on supplies like water. And I think that's where I'm gonna spend the night tonight, is in Carbondale. All right, I'm in the back of the truck for the night. I ended up settling on uh, an Anytime Fitness just because I'm in desperate need of a shower after the amount of walking that I did today. It stinks pretty bad in here. If I'm being transparent, that is. It's about 10.30, I'm gonna call it a night. It's night night time. See you in the morning. Good morning from sunny Colorado. Oh. It's cold. Oh, it's very cold. Got myself a shower finally. Get my teeth fresh. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, here you're on drill. Just keep on trucking.